everyone, this is Dean on the scene for the Rogers View. We are at Shirley 42, and this guy is no stranger to the DMV. You have seen him at Shirley, you have seen him at Farpoint. We have taken a picture of a picture a few times, but he's forever known as Pete the Agent in Warehouse 13, which just was recently shown on Sci-Fi Rewind. Eddie McClintock, how you doing? Hey man, good to see you, good to see you. I'm doing well, how about you? I am doing so well. Well, the first question I got to ask, since we just mentioned just moments ago that Warehouse 13 has been shown again on Sci-Fi Rewind. And I'm yes. going to know, how did you attain the role of Pete in the first place? Well, uh, you know, through the age old uh, practice of auditioning, mm -hmm. uh, I went through several rounds of auditioning and then um, we had to go to the test at the network which is extremely um, uh, nerve-wracking and and uh, you know just I got lucky man um, they they wanted they wanted me and it was my time and I'm grateful absolutely so what do you think is the appeal of people still watching this wonderful show that is celebrating its 13th anniversary recently. Oh, that's true. Um, is it 13? 13 years. Hard to believe, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was one of those, it was kind of a throwback show that the whole family could watch together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, back when I was growing up, um, you didn't have 400, 500 channels. <laughs> that is true. You didn't have the internet. Nope. Uh, you didn't have TikTok or Twitter or Instagram, mm -hmm. so uh, the whole family would sit down and watch shows together, and this kind of brought a lot of families together again. And, and uh, you know, there was something to learn. There was history, and uh, and it, at its core, it was about family. You know, uh, a dysfunctional family that that loved each other, and and. Uh, you know, beat the odds, however incredible they, they have been, so. Absolutely, and what do you miss about working with the family, with Sal, with Allison, with Claudia, over the years? The money. The money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, uh, I miss my family, you know. They, they, uh, when you work with someone 15 hours a day for seven months, uh, you get to know each other really well, and um, there are times when you may not like each other that much, but you know you love each other. So it is like a family in that way. You know, you you argue and you have fights, and and then you are adults and you you know you you make up and and uh, respect one another, and that's what we did on the show, and and that's what you know. We do as as family members, hopefully, you know. So I think that's another reason it kind of touched a nerve with people. It showed, you know, fallible characters that were just um, struggling, you know, struggling to be better and struggling to be to love one another. So absolutely right. This is your third time at the DMV convention, whether it was Shoreleave and whether it's Far Point. Yeah. What makes you come back to this area, to this convention, to this group of fans who come to see you and come to see others at this wonderful convention? Well, you know, the, the, if it weren't for the fans, there would be no me. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice to be able to give back. I mean, yeah, I make some money and I sell pictures and stuff, but I also get to meet and talk to people that gave me a career and and uh, made it possible for me to have indoor plumbing at the house <laughs> so, indoor plumbing is always important always always absolutely and i saw on your instagram that you recently taught a master class not too long ago it's about a couple weeks ago yeah and i want to know as a fellow actor what would be the first lesson you would teach upcoming actors to not only get into the biz but to survive in it Ooh. Uh, wow. Well, I mean, I guess the first thing I say is, um, you know, a lot of people think acting is about pretending to be someone else. Mm -hmm. um, in, in my mind, it's never been about that. It's, it's about being myself um, as another person. You know, I, I, I put as much of who I am 
into the character. That way it makes it easier to play because uh, there's no lying there. It's, it's, it's all truthful. I, I think that's one of the great things about acting is it, you know, kind of peels the onion if you allow it to, you know, if you, if you really give, if you really allow yourself to be vulnerable, um, that's when the, uh, for sake of a better term, that's where the magic happens, you know? Yeah. Um, and then when you're able to do that with another person who is, is in the same fight with you and you, you make something compelling, um, it's, uh, it's, it's an amazing feeling. So I, I would say, you know, <clears throat> do away with, uh, you know, trying to think about what what this character how this character would say that and how this character would I, I, just how would you say it how would you get through it you know how would you win in that circumstance absolutely and my final question is this for the person who's never been to a science fiction convention what advice would you give them to attend their very first one uh, wear rubber <laughs> that is such great advice. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Eddie. It's nice to finally talk thank, to you. Thank you. And don't forget, we're going to have more coverage, more interviews, and more fun here at Shoreweave. Reporting, <laughs> reporting, Agent Pete, Dean on the scene for the Rogers Review. See ya. Thanks, you guys.